Okay, we're down here at 3rd Avenue again, 3130. You can see we've got the landscape done. The temporary fence is still here, but it's leaving here probably tomorrow. Landscape's done in the front. They're getting ready to put the address signs back up. I've got uh, Dave and his crew from Folsom Lake Fence. They do really good work. Very affordable and really good work. See this fence right here, that was the Folsom Lake Fence guy who just walked there. This is uh, custom fabricated on site. I'm going to paint this white so it looks a little more friendly, but uh, nice and secure. We've got a gate that's going to be over here. They've got, uh, these are the old panels, the short ones that we took out. Now we have a nice tall fence. Nobody's sneaking in here, not coming over the fence. Okay, right here, actually no, I think we're putting the mailbox down here, close to the bottom of the stairs. Mailbox going down here, right guys? Does it go back and forth? Right in here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so the mailbox will go right in here. See, we've got, we've even got flowers growing in here to get a little color, soften it up. You can see we've got, got gravel in here. I'm just going to put some benches in here. If tenants want to put uh, plants, we'll do that. You can see that they're painting these rails. See, they're, they're primed. See, this is the primer color first. Same as Golden Gate Bridge, not really gold. Then uh, we paint everything white. Now the back fence is going to stay black, but we've, uh, we have white rails here on the, the new handrails on the stairs. And these rails up here are all going to get painted white. This building behind me, this building here, is pretty much done. See, they've got blinds in there. I don't have the AC in it. See, let's see, yeah, blinds are in that one. They're up here. We've got blinds here. And you see that we've got the back fence done across the back. Let's go in here and look at these rails painted. This rail is painted all the way up. Have they done the carpet yet? I can't tell. Um, here we got runners down here, so the carpet's in. Yeah, this kitchen's pretty much done. New stove. Okay, here's our kitchen. I still think that I'm gonna might have to have them swap these lights out. I don't think that fixture is only a one bulb. I don't think that's bright enough for the kitchen, but we'll see. Um, yeah, electrical. This side is all electric. The other side is all gas. So we had to put electric stove. Like it should go over further. Yes, there we go. Get that thing tight to the cabinet. It's a little space. What is that thing? Oh, it's the base. Hmm. Might have. Oh, sorry for that picture. It's just moving things. New thermostat and uh, carbon monoxide detector. See, so check these out. Remember the remember the wall furnaces? Okay, this is a new cover. And it's trimmed down nicely. We just trimmed around the outside. So we repaired. We did not have to replace one. It took us a lot, but we found uh, HVAC Tech, who is another old guy. And that's why I told uh, my assistant, you got to find the old guys because they will know how to fix this. Don't even talk to anybody under 40. So we've got that done. See, the bathroom's done. Oh, they hung the curtain here. It's like nice little bathroom. We had to put tape on this. We may have to replace these uh, medicine cabinets. They're, they're really, really cheap. But it's like a cardboard backing behind the mirror. Well, it gets a little moisture and it worked. Well, that, that doesn't work and now they won't stay closed. So, okay. And carpet in here. All right. Well, whoever cleaned those windows, it's not really clean. Let me put the blinds down here. Oh, I think they got to cut them off. They're only about 12 feet too long. Let's see. How's that look? Well, they definitely have to take some of the, the bottom off, I think. But shoot, that works just fine. All right. That's going to work there. Let's go over into the two-bedroom unit. I don't have my AC yet. I'm going to have them put something over there to cover that thing up tomorrow. We've been uh, rustling over price. And again, we beat the heck out of Home Depot on this. Um, but they have been really good. The Florin Road Home Depot here in Sacramento... I don't have anything bad to say about them. Like they've really, really worked with us. They've impressed me more than uh, the other Home Depots that had an opportunity to get about, geez, at least $100,000 of business a year, but they weren't smart enough. Florin Road, they seized the opportunity. This kitchen doesn't look bad. You know, granite in there, stove. The refrigerator is goofy. The cabinet design is goofy, but we left it what it is. I think we really need to slide the refrigerator over to this side a little. If we do that, you don't have so much room for a table. So, a little awkward, but hey, it, it works 
Oh, enough. Okay, bathroom here. You see the taped again on the the uh, medicine cabinet. Okay, the tile, everything done. Okay, blinds in here, blinds in here. This room's a little small, but certainly adequate. This room's a little bit, yeah, it's bigger. It's about four feet bigger. Um, so, I think these work. It's a cozy little place. This padding, this carpet feels really good. It's pretty comfortable. Heck, if you didn't have any furniture, you can sleep on the floor. It wouldn't be that bad. Okay, well, getting really, really close now. I think the next video will be of the celebration on uh, Saturday. Uh, we'll get some testimonials. We're still working on the parking lot. But you see, I put the fence in here at the back. We decided that uh, we didn't need to fence the parking area. We're just fencing the immediate immediate vicinity. Got a couple gates going, one over there, one right here. But that's the way it's looking today. This is, what, Thursday around 3 o'clock. Having our neighborhood celebration Saturday morning. So you guys got a lot of work to do in the next 36 hours. But we'll make it. Okay, we'll see you next time.